While on safari at Sabi Sands Game Reserve in South Africa, we got a rare opportunity to watch an African rock python swallow its prey. The snake had caught a young impala that was already dead by the time we arrived just before dusk. Pythons are constrictors and kill by coiling around their prey's body, then tightening until it suffocates. The snake was resting from this effort when we arrived, so we left for a time and returned as the snake had started to swallow the impala. The sun had set when we returned. At this point, the python had swallowed part of the head, with the ears still visible out of the snake's mouth. Snakes almost always eat the head first, as it makes swallowing the limbs much easier. Unlike a mammal, the lower bones of a snake's jaw, called mandibles, are not fused together, but instead are connected by a stretchy ligament. The snake can spread the mandibles apart, making its mouth much wider in order to swallow large prey. The mandibles move independently, and snakes will swing their head from side to side to walk the prey into its mouth. Hmm. I agree. Slowly squeezing the legs together, and then and just force and pulling it. Yeah. Look, that just that was a big move. The snake uses its powerful jaw and throat muscles to pull the prey into its mouth. It also secretes a saliva that moistens the prey to make it easier to swallow. Little backward pointing teeth on the roof of the snake's mouth help prevent the prey from slipping back or escaping if it is still alive. If you look at the scope of what it's taking on, though, it's impressive. Yeah. The python also wraps its body around the prey to squeeze it down and hold it while swallowing. The event was even more rare in that the typical prey for the python is much smaller animals such as birds and rabbits. We were fascinated to watch as the snake swallowed such a large animal. The body of the snake stretches to accommodate the prey, where the snake's powerful digestive system soon kicks in. After eating, the pH of its stomach drops from 7 to 2 within 24 hours. Enzymes start dissolving the soft tissues and skeletons of the prey within a few hours, while the bacteria in the gut of the animal that's eaten also helps the process.
At this point, the python will need to spend several days digesting the prey. During this time, it is quite vulnerable to other animals that could kill it and steal its food, so it will move to a safer place to digest its meal.